Hey guys. Hi. So today's show is with Dr. Julie Colwell. Yes. And we talk about your relationship and if it's worth saving. Mm-hmm. And yes. a lot of valuable stuff in there because if you're in a toxic and unhealthy relationship, you will want to cry. <laughs> Like our daughter. I know. You will want to cry and get a teapot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. So, sorry for that brief interruption. <laughs> but talk about is your relationship worth saving? And there's two really important questions to ask yourself. Is are you still learning? And I'm a little teapot. <laughs> now we're going to have to pause it. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> and hey, we're back. We're back. All right. So, Dr. Julie Colwell, really important to ask yourself, are you still learning and is there movement if you're in a toxic relationship? Because there is hope if the other partner is willing to learn and willing to create some movement, willing to work. But if they're just not open to that, um, you need to seriously consider seeking professional help if you really want to make the relationship work mm-hmm. or getting out of that relationship because it's going to be kind of a dead end if they're not willing to work on stuff. Right. And it may just be, I know Chase mentioned your partner are willing to move and learn, but it may just be you too. You may feel that you're not learning anymore from your partner and there isn't any movement on your end. So take into consideration as that that as well. Yep, yeah, exactly. You got to look at yourself and another thing that I really liked is she talks about shifting from a reactive brain to an open focus brain. So reactive brain is literally our brain is we're just reacting. So very emotional if you're in an argument, you're not thinking, you're just reacting to what your partner says. In fact, you probably have an idea of what you're going to say before they even say it because you're just preloaded and in, in reacting where instead you want to be in open focus brain where it's basically you're being mindful and you're open to talking about the ideas and and not just reacting so right. there's different ways to do that one of them that's really simple that you can try is just take 10 breaths you know really relax breathe don't react you know she says it's easier said than done right? easier said than done but <laughs> Uh, I really like, she said, humans were basically threatened animals that can talk. So yeah. it's true. Like you yeah. feel threatened. You feel like you're being attacked. You're just going to react like an animal right. and, and this, this reactive brain. So take a second, take 10 breaths. Oh, that felt good. Just that right there. And, and relax and, and react in a more mindful manner. So yeah. Another way too I think she mentioned is maybe put the conversation on hold for 10 to 20 minutes so that yeah. you can kind of decompress and be more calm. Yeah. We've talked about it in past episodes uh, where we can even say something like yellow light mm. and that just kind of indicates, yeah. all right, I need a few minutes to to process this and then that's our neighbor's kid. <laughs> that's not even Stella. Jeez. I don't even know if they can hear it. I don't think they can. But if you do hear a screaming baby, that's not Stella. Yeah. We got babies all around babies us crying. Um, so, yeah. And then another uh, – so check out the episode, Dr. Julie Colwell. Um, Want to mention another thing we talked about in the episode, but we're trying to get a name for our listeners or and our YouTubers, uh, you guys watching out there. And – we came up with Love Tribe. So the Love Tribe, kind of like that tribe. It's a group of people uh, within a society. And Love Tribe, we're all trying to find love. Love is... Create lasting love. Yeah, you know, it's the most important thing in our relationship with family members, with your significant other. Um, you know, without love, there's uh, there's not a lot of hope and there's not a lot of... I would sing a song right now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Which song is that? All You Need Is Love. Go for it. In the middle. No. Sarah, I'll save your ears. 
Sarah was in a band. I was not in a band. She was a lead singer in a I band. Was not in a band. <laughs> she denies it. I don't know where he gets this from. She's got a great voice. Maybe one day you'll get to hear it. She doesn't really sing to me. Sometimes it's Stella. So, so yeah. All right, love tribers. You're the or what would be the plural? Love tribe. I think. All yeah. right, love tribe. Yeah. Yeah. So leave us a comment. Let us know if you like the shows. If you like the love tribe, I kind of like it. Um, I like it too. And uh, yeah, as always, you can support us on Patreon.com forward slash I do podcasts, Amazon.com, and then. Also on audibletrial.com forward slash I do podcast. All the links are below in the show uh, description here. And thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you think about the shows. If there's any topics you'd like to see us cover. And uh, yeah. Peace out. Love tribe. Bye. <laughs>